Hello and welcome. In this video, we have a look at Inlinks. This is the tool that the SEO legend Dixon Jones has created. And he's written the book on entity SEO, which I am just reading at the moment. I can highly recommend that. In this video, we look at probably more of the um, factors that we can use for topical relevance and creating sitemaps for our website. So that P feature you can find here under the topic section. Let me make this a bit bigger. So on the left, that's too big. <laughs> on the left hand side, you can see topics and then you can click on display topic wheel. We're looking at a divorce law website in Australia here for the topic wheel. And you can see all of the different topics that have been discussed. Um, Inlinks does a lot of the heavy lifting for you, whereas other tools that we discussed previously, you need to give them the exact text that you want to analyze. With Inlinks, it visits all of the pages uh, on your site. Depending on what your plan is, I will say. Um, so you are limited by that. My plan can analyze 100 pages here. And I've taken, I believe, 60 pages from this sitemap. And you can see what different topics uh, this website is talking about. So um, in terms of family law, it's talking about child custody, dispute resolution, domestic partnerships. Um, the green signs here, I believe, is where Google's NLP has identified the same topic. Um, so basically the text was sent to Google's NLP API and then has come back and it said, yep, I know about what a court is and I've identified that in your text. I know what arbitration is and I know what a family is. Um, whereas other concepts may not have been clear enough, I suppose, in order to uh, for the Google's natural language processing to recognize it. Um, so other topics discussed here are sharing, caregiver, cohabitation. Um, these are all really important topics to discuss when you talk about divorce and family law and separation. So it does a pretty good job at identifying um, everything. The inner sections you can ignore a little bit. Um, I suppose what you don't want to happen is that you just stay in this one uh, corridor. So if you see that everything that you're talking about on your website is just about seduction, um, you might have a problem, right? Because if you're trying to talk about um, family law and the law aspects are not big enough and everything else is about marriage and how to book a wedding and that type of thing, then you're going to be too big in the seduction uh, corridor. You could certainly use that um, to also crawl the competitor's website and then compare these sitemaps manually. I believe there's some new and really exciting features coming soon, but um, for now, just loading up another competitor sitemap and seeing, right, how big are they on um, seduction topics? How big are they on society, for example? And putting them manually next to each other, maybe in a tool like Photoshop. Uh, that could be really interesting uh, to do for uh, topical relevance. Cool, that's about... Um, everything that we have here for the uh, sitemap exploration feature. There's lots of other really cool features. My second most favorite feature would have to be then the content planner, which goes out and looks for all of the topics that you could be talking about. Um, so it's here suggesting divorce process. It tells us what the keyword search volume is, divorce application, divorce hearing, and it comes up with that kind of priority list based on the semantic distance of the uh, words and topics that are already on your web on your website, it will then go out and look at uh, what other keywords you should be writing about that you're not covering yet. So um, we can see here, these are pretty good um, suggestions. No fault divorce, very interesting one to uh, create an article on. And yeah, in terms of the quality of suggestions, I think it's very high. Um, and very actionable as well. You could certainly turn that into a content uh, plan um, and basically give it 
um, to to your client in this order. This specific one was a Sydney law firm, so it's even recognized that talking about Sydney um, specifically in Sydney law um, could be a really good uh, a good move for your sitemap. Let's see what other big topics. Okay, these look to be okay. Property, um, property disputes, property protection. Property spouse, I would say also pretty good topics to, to cover and talk about. Property in the context of child support. Um, we also have here the keyword level. All right, this would be when we actually type in specific keywords ourselves. Uh, and then if we want to add, if we like keywords, we can add them to the content queue, which I believe is this uh, plus sign here. It would then come up here under the content queue and we can create a brief for that. Um, right now I don't have credits to create the brief, but um, what I like about it is that it's entity focused, meaning that um, rather than just counting the keyword frequency, the occurrences, it's actually looking at the semantic connections and semantic distances between words in order to decide on the most important entities to cover in your article. So that's different from other tools like Neuron Writer or Surfer SEO, which from my understanding, yes, they have Google's NLP API, but they're not using that to calculate semantic uh, distances or relationships. They're just using that to say, hey, this is an entity, we've confirmed it, it might be important, um, which is different from InLinks. Uh, and then of course, how InLinks got started is by helping you to insert relevant internal links and to create schema. Uh, so that's something uh, interesting as well. So for example, here um, it's identified uh, a few links on our site. So it's a good way to also do an internal link audit to see that, hey, do we actually want to link from this page with this anchor text uh, to this target page? Is that a good use of our link equity? Um, that's a good way to, to use this tool as well. And then under schema here, if you import the JavaScript code to your website, it can build schema markup automatically for your pages. Perfect. I wanted to keep this relatively brief and um, the social media features, I can't say much about them. I haven't explored them too much. And because we're an SEO channel, we also won't dive into that. But this was a quick overview of inlinks and their capabilities. I think certainly a really good contender to explore topical maps, build internal links, um, plan content. Um, as we've seen here, uh, these topics were really strong suggestions to build out. And I hope you enjoyed this brief walkthrough. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.